That's the dusty Ducati. Needs a deep clean, Roche. No, no. Super superficial clean. It's just fine dust. I know PPF for the knee. The horse bike that came out was mine. Got a small, small damage. Uh, Ducati, nothing. That looks fine. We kept the 850 there. Need to get it on the floor. We still have two more bikes. <laughs> You see that? The bike's here guys. The bike came last night. In fact, sometime in the afternoon, I guess. But we have to wait for uh, Strujan's and Sriman's bike to come. Lot of story here with the bikes, man. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you are and when you're watching this, welcome to new vlog. One way, happy for the bike that it came. But there are a few things that I was not happy about it. So we got the left pannier. Everything is in shape. Nothing wrong with this. And we got the top case too. Everything's good here. Except here, you see this dent. The dent on the top case is because the bike tipped over while it was in the truck. The crate got disassembled and the bike tipped to the left. So there are a few damages on the bike. Luckily, because of the soft bags, I think the damage was minimal, but still enough that it warrants a visit to the showroom because I have to go to the showroom, get it completely cleaned, washed to verify whether I have to get it repaired with by myself or claim the insurance. Sometimes with the insurance, the way it works is you have a concept called no claim bonus. So if you don't claim in a year, next year you get at least five to 10% of discount. It varies. So each year it goes from 10, 15, 20, 25, 35, 45, up to 50%. That is a no claim bonus part, which a lot of people ignore while claiming. So next year it will be zero again. So you would lose all that 20, 25% discount. So I have to calculate whether it's worth losing that discount or get it repaired myself. My insurance on this bike is I got it for five years, fully third party and own damage, the two portions of insurance. So there is no yearly renewal for me. So I have to figure out, this is also first time for me, I have to figure out if it is worth claiming or not. At the outset, the few damages that I see, this is completely scraped, like someone chewed on it. This broke and it was all scuffed up. Couldn't show you in the nighttime because it was completely dark, but we could see it with the naked eye. This broke and this chewed up. So this needs replacing, mostly the cover because this is fine. You see this scratch. There are quite a few scratches here and this one. This part is scratched up big time. On the main glass, very minimal. These are all uh, just dirt and other marks which can be wiped off. But there are scratches on this. So you see this one. So this is also decently scratched up but this is not in the sight. When you look from here, you can see the difference. The stop section needs to be replaced. You get this separately. You can uh, replace it on your own. This mirror was bent but luckily the glass didn't break no sounds here and you see this part completely scraped you can notice the alignment here versus here so this went slightly inside but this took major brunt and the pedal got twisted this is also not in a great position on my bike, only these are the damages. So this needs replacement. This can probably rep be repaired. This one needs replacement and this one needs replacement. This can be painted, but still it will be more rust prone now. So this needs to be pulled out and they can do it, but needs to be checked. Those are what I see to my eye, but I'm heading to the showroom now just to get few things checked. Also needs to check the handlebar alignment because it tipped over a lot and we'll only know on the highway or on a decent stretch if there is any alignment issue. Last night I couldn't test it because there were panniers and soft case and the pannier was only on the one side of the bike. I should thank my stars because the other pannier was usually on this side. There was a smaller pannier. I shifted it towards this side because I thought there is silence on that side. The balance would be good. Luckily because of that when it tipped over this one and the soft case took the blow quite a lot. You can see from the mangle footrest, the impact could have been higher and also the scrape here. It kept on rubbing for a while. So lucky here, lucky. 
and so but I still need to go to the showroom and get it checked thoroughly so that we can decide whether to get it repaired or claimed unfortunately unlike me Susan's bike had a bigger damage the two both the 21 inches completely tipped over uh, it's mostly with the way that's packed and uh, sent so we are not at all happy my concern and heart goes out for Susan's bike because that was a bigger impact <laughs> This one, bro. 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 This one, because there is no way with a we could transfer it here because the steering the handlebar broke in half which is a big thing guys big big thing never saw a bike uh, especially a premium bike have such an impact and my bike tipped over but the cage also broke but in case of Srijan's bike the cage didn't break so there was a lot of pressure probably when it fell over and I my guess is that's why it uh, snapped in half but scary air. Kishore's 1250 was slight, has slightly tipped over, but it didn't fall. So very minor things there. Ducati and uh, Tiger are almost fine. Tiger ka maybe fork seals are uh, broken or something because of the suspension weight and all. I don't know how it was packed. That needs to be checked. We'll take it now to the showroom and get it checked. Want to get these things done in the morning because tomorrow I'm heading uh, on a small trip to Bangalore. So we'll be busy with uh, stuff there but want to get this done today itself just gave my bike in the service center explain them uh, explain them what i initially saw so that it's gonna i'm gonna get more details in like two hours in the meantime i decided to go check out uh, a new bike actually in the ducati showroom you probably saw this in my previous videos but i want to check it again and get few details because it was regarding the second bike the management in ducati changed so i also wanted to get a sense of how the dealership is like you remember this bike right so this is the one I am interested in, Scrambler 1100. There is a Dark Pro version which is almost a lot cheaper. It is like that perfect upgrade for my Street Twin and it sounds amazing. That was popping man, a new bike. I warmed it up enough, this is a new bike so I took every precaution but still love that exhaust note. Love the entire look of it. It was always on the back of my mind but never took it so seriously. And there's a stock exhaust here, like stock pipes. This is after cleaning completely, now you can see the damages clearly. Damage number one. This we also in so the morning. This part needs replacement. Small scratches here. Back here at uh, BMW showroom. So decide to leave the bike here because uh, I've initiated claim proceedings. Don't know how much we will get by claim, but this is the estimate for the repairs, total repairs. Hope the surveyor approves all because sometimes they don't do all. So need to verify and that will take time to know how much it will be. But the bike will be in the showroom from now till, I don't know, some parts take time. Maybe at least three, four, uh, two, two to three months. That will be in the showroom for small things. Besides that, there will be the top case repair and all. So that list is gonna be around. Top case itself is thirty-three thousand. Backbuster is three thousand. Windshield spoiler is almost around five to six thousand. Basic job bill that we loan this car. Kotha bandi. Chuda ne. Mostly. Some of it will be covered by insurance, the rest we have to see if this guy... See, uh, anyways, you not and you, have, you uh, cannot claim insurance for the top box. Yeah, yeah. Rank 1. Rank 1. Rank 1 to 10, rank 1 to 10, man. Right. Very. But I think for him, the insurance will cover most of the damage. But the top case and panel racks have a lot of insurance. We have to do it on our own. Anyway, we are trying to be in good spirits. Let's see how much the final cost would be. Hope. Uh, 
we'll figure out what needs to be done here because a lot of work but the bike is stuck in the Hi. showroom now yes it will be in the showroom for at least 2 to 3 months just when i thought the bike's here in the house it's back in the showroom yeah uh, you remember the radiator issue after the kerala trip had to wait for that part for almost 2 months so didn't have then for 2 months now again for 2 months anyway luckily this is going to be summer so we'll probably not ride much and in that regard it's okay but don't want the bike to be in the showroom man it has to be in the house we need to ride it the estimate from the showroom is high mostly because the rear footrest includes the mount where the bmw bags can sit so that is why it is expensive but otherwise the footrests are less than 10000 the fender needs to be checked that's also 11000 so those are the, those are the only two expensive items fender is pretty much similar to triumph or uh, ducati 11000 is normal for a new fender but the damage is little we have to figure out what needs to be done because it uh, the more you ride it with the damage it can grow big and uh, the entire fender might be broken uh, we'll only know once the surveyor inspects the bike and gets the first report done <sighs> lot of work man Anyway, that's it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And in case you're watching this on night time, have a good night and take care. Bye bye.